Hi, I'm Beverly Fest. I'm a retired deacon and former hospital chaplain and a member of Mountain View United Methodist Church. And it's a privilege to be with you today. There's so much going on in our world right now with the pandemic and the protests and the demonstrations regarding racism. And because of the pandemic, my husband and I have chosen not to attend the protests and the marches. But the virus can't be an excuse to do nothing. We need to find ways to make our voices heard, even when we're not on the streets. The prophet Amos spoke 2,600 years ago, and yet his words are so timely for us today. I'm reading a, a paraphrase from the message. Hear what Amos was saying to the people on the streets. People hate this kind of talk. Raw truth is never popular, but here it is, bluntly spoken. Because you run roughshod over the poor and take the bread right out of their mouths, you're never going to move into the luxury homes you have built. You're never going to drink wine from the expensive vineyards you've planted. I know precisely the extent of your violations, the enormity of your sins, appalling. You bully right living people, taking bribes right and left and kicking the poor when they're down. Justice is a lost cause. Evil is epidemic. Decent people throw up their hands. Protest and rebuke are useless, a waste of breath. Seek good and not evil and live. You talk about God, the God of the angel armies, being your best friend. Well, live like it and maybe it will happen. Hate evil and love good. Then work it out in the public square. Maybe God, the God of the angel armies, will notice your remnant and be gracious. Now again, my master's message, God, God of the angel armies says, go out into the streets and lament loudly. Fill the malls and shops with cries of doom. Weep loudly, not me, not us, not now. Empty offices, stores, factories, workplaces, enlist everyone in the general lament. I want to hear it loud and clear when I make my visit. I can't stand your religious meetings. I'm fed up with your conferences and conventions. I want nothing to do with your religious projects, your pretentious slogans and goals. I'm sick of your fundraising schemes, your public relations and image making. I've had all I can take of your noisy ego music. When was the last time you sang to me? Do you know what I want? I want justice, oceans of it. I want fairness, rivers of it. Maybe you're wondering what we can do while we are isolated. This past week, a former piano student of mine wrote a very powerful and lengthy narrative on social media. Her parents, a biracial couple, married in 1960. My student is now in her 40s, is biracial, married to an African-American man, and is the mother of a dark-skinned teenage son. These are her words. So today, for all of you who are fighting for a better world, an equal world, a world of where we can send our children and husbands out for a run without fear. Please know we have a lot of work to do, but I thank you. I see you. I'm grateful to you. I challenge you to not let this moment pass by. Continue to read, continue to have difficult conversations, continue to listen and try to understand Continue to educate yourselves, your children, and your friends. Please continue. I believe in the healing power and the inspiration of music, and it helps me during this time. So I invite you to use this time of music to rest with God, to know that we do not go through this alone, but we must go into the world and be the change.